The World Pool Masters is a very special event. It's never going to be an easy match or an easy draw. It's like a dream. It's a very big tournament, play the best players in the world. There are 16 top uh, world-class players. It's a really strong field, really, really good mix. It's called the World Pool Masters for a reason. Welcome to the Party Poker World Pool Masters from the Barnsley Metrodome, England. This historic event is in its 21st season and is considered one of the most illustrious competitions in nine ball pool, featuring the best of the best. In the draw are six times Masters champion Ralph Suke, current US Open champion Shane Van Boning, and former World and US Open winner Mika Immonen, plus Efren Reyes and Darren Appleton. Defending champion Karol Skowerski is out in round one, as is glamorous Ga Young Kim. Next up, it's 2010 World 8 Ball champion Carl Boys against the man he beat to capture that title, Dutch star Neil Spion. Playing Carl Boys first round. He's going to be my Moscone buddy in uh, December. Very strong player, so very dangerous, very solid, and he's going to have the home crowd with him, so uh, I have to be ready. We've played probably five or six times over the years. I played him in the World 8 Ball Championship Final and uh, I won 11-12, so hopefully he's thinking about that match. I think the support of the crowd is obviously always good. You know, it makes you concentrate, so right from the very first go, you, you know, your mindset's gonna be very good. Bring in the best that I have out of myself on the pool table and that sometimes can only be done against the other elite players. World Pool Masters, 16 best players in the world. Obviously, it'd be an honour uh, to win this event and say, obviously, the World Pool Masters champion. Whoever you draw, it's going to be the same, uh, same toughness, so all you can do is focus on uh, trying to bring out your best game before the match and uh, get in there and do your job. Match three of the Party Poker World Pool Masters is all square at two racks each. Fine took the lead after a poor safety by boys early on in rack one, but the Englishman levelled in rack two, running out after the Dutchman scratched off the break. Rack three saw boys hand control of the table to Fyne after a foul shot, but he soon tied the scores in the fourth. Fyne missing a tough three ball, allowing boys to run out the rack for 2-2. Two -two. OK then, on to the fifth. This, of course, is a race to eight, and it's a winner breaks format. And so the man in control of the table with five, the advantage of breaking off, break, two, boys. Two. With me in the commentary box is Alex Laley, and I think of all the first round matches, perhaps this was the toughest one to predict. Yes, I think on paper, whatever that might mean, Niels Fey, the better player. And maybe not, because the one time that it counted most in the final of the World 8-Ball Championships, it was Carl Boyes to win a Hill Hill Thriller. Carl <laughs> Boyes recently made it to the semi-finals at the World Championships 9-Ball in Qatar. Played really solid, as we all know he can. In the end, that's what got him the ticket for the upcoming Moscone Cup. I'm not predicting anyone. Can't say that I'm unbiased, though. I work quite a bit with Niels Feijen now. Although he's living in Denmark when we have the trainings at the Federation in Holland with the Dutch team, Niels joins us, joins us through Skype. So we're watching him work through the computer. Now when he's playing his best fine, the Skype is the limit, I suppose you could say. But Carl Boy is hugely motivated. Being involved in the World Masters is a real honour, particularly when you're playing on home soil. 
Now this kick shot that Niels is faced with. Hitting two rails. He's a favorite to hit the three ball. But it's all about the speed selection. Is he trying to get lucky, hit medium hard or soft medium to use the five and nine to come in as blockers? Beautiful hit. And even though he might not have planned it exactly like this, it's all about speed selection. Which speed gives you the highest likelihood of a safety? And that is Niels Feyen. He has worked so hard on his kick shots. At some point in his career, for a long time in his career, his kicking abilities were his weakness. Tension cold. But nowadays they're becoming his strength. Carl Boy is now looking to come off the top cushion with left spin. Left spin so he can come in at the angle <coughs> to avoid contact with the with the eight ball. He wants to send the three towards the left hand side pocket. And then down table again. And given the complexity of the shot and indeed the beeps of the shot clock counting down. I think boys did pretty well there. Shot clock in operation in this tournament from first round right to, through to the final. Each player is allowed one extension per rack. Recently, Alex, the Dutch came so, so close to winning the World Cup of Pool at the York Hall in Bethnal Green. They were in the ascendancy. Fine, Mr. Ball. That was totally unexpected. A little later, so did Nick Vandenberg. And in the end, the Filipino team of Dennis Acolo and Lee Van Corteza prevailed. The Dutch were really disappointed, but overall in that tournament, they showed their true colours. Yes, and yet another world final lost. It's our national trauma. Just like we don't seem to be able to win uh, the cup in f soccer. At least you get to the finals. Three times, Phil. Yes, the loss of that match was obviously a major setback, but I think the attitude of the two players afterwards was very good indeed. Trying to draw positives from what was a fine overall performance to be that far in the tournament. And maybe as an individual, Fine is going to gain redemption here. Certainly in this match, he's in front. He leads Carl Boys by three racks to two. I was saying before, Alex, that Carl Boys is playing on home soil. And it really is because, although he's based in Blackpool these days, he was born in the city of Bradford in Yorkshire. So this is home county. Bradford just a little north of here. Beautiful break by Niels, putting a lot of speed into the rack. 
also some body action not an easy out though the first challenge is to get a proper angle on the three where he can get back to the four where he can stay on the four ball and then thereafter he needs to figure out how to get on the six beautiful stroke stun draw so not a maximum acceleration of the cue ball but moderately players at a medium level would strike that ball with draw and then with a half-hearted stroke do not make the cue ball accelerate too much He will leave himself an angle on the four ball from the three and depending on that angle he will have multiple options. Stun forward this time. Don't think he will look to break the cluster. The highest probability for success is to land on the other short rail and play safety behind the 7-9 yes good planning good execution and in a few moments time Carl Boyce could be in deep deep trouble well I say could he should yeah Niels figuring out how to play the best safety possible not only snookering Carl Boyes but he'd like to clip that nine ball to open the pocket for the seven well called Alex well played well thought at the only thing the six ball has ended close to the rail which makes it a big target for Carl Boyes to aim at two rails maybe three he needs to get lucky though he'll hit medium hard beautiful shot just unlucky that the six ball is stopped so close to a pocket and the close proximity of the ball to the target means that this can be nudged in making the balls not a difficulty getting position he hit the six ball slightly too thick one of those occasions where as the cue ball was going towards the side cushion fine must have hoped check side was on it it wasn't nevertheless retaining tactical superiority yes and this time the object ball the seven ball is not in the vicinity of the sh of the rail which makes it a smaller ball to hit boy is looking at the same route definitely two rails this time but less margin for error Station cold. the difficulty here and I risk run the risk of being too academic the risk is that after the first rail the cue ball because of the topspin will curve will open the angle 
makes it difficult to judge. And that is exactly what happened. After the first rail, oh, it curved, oh, yeah. thereby changing the angle. And that's because they're playing on a TV table with a super sensitive cloth and balls. And with three open balls on the table and ball in hand, players at this level do not foul up from here. I think we can safely say it is going to be 4-2 fine. Yeah, and knowing Niels, this will give him a lot of confidence. The way in which he has won the racks, tactically, that's where he has worked on the most, and it's paying dividend. A professional job carried out by a top pro pool player. Mills Fine leads Carl Boys 4-2. Welcome back to the Party Poker World Pool Masters. Carl Boys took the seventh rack thanks to a superb pot on the two ball. And banking the three to pull one back at 4 3. Neil Swine, though, regained his two rack lead after a scrappy encounter in the eighth, eventually benefiting from a mistake by the crowd favourites. But Boys has just taken the ninth, another tight rack fluking a safety and running out to trail fine 5-4 at the start of the 10th. Anyone's guess who is going to prevail? Three rack 10, Cowboys to break, trailing four racks to five. Trailing one game, Cowboys, but breaking. I'd almost say he's favourite from here. Look what a setup he has developed here on the two ball. Did not manage to control the cue ball, but in this case, to his advantage. Four poles reached the quarterfinals on home soil last year. The same complement of Englishmen involved in this tournament in 2013, Chris Melling already through to the quarterfinals. Can Carl Boys join him there? It was a very tough first round draw. But I think that applied to both of them. Yeah, both men in form. Niels prior to the Masters got to made fourth in the US Open together with the runner-up in the World Cup of Pool and a semi-final in the Euro Tour in Cyprus. Really in form he is. But you're not seeing things with that positional shot. Yes, the three ball is next. And Boys has made a pig's ear of it. Well, without being too critical, after a positional shot of that inaccuracy, a player deserves that kind of thing. And if he doesn't deserve it, he can expect it. It wasn't the easiest of shots from the 2 to the 3 with the rest. But he did not strike the ball nicely and with confidence. He's looking to pay a price now. Well, the table that was invitingly open for boys is now even more open for Fern. And the requirement, less pots. Niels Feyen taking his time, not being rushed by the shot clock. Sometimes it can hurt a player if he's playing too deliberate, but lately Niels has had so many matches on center court that this is really his rhythm. The rhythm where cautiousness 
and fluency meet in the middle. Two rails towards the six. He is going to be an absolutely vital cog in the European team who defend the Moscone Cup in the sun of Las Vegas in early December at the Mirage Casino. And I think with all of this high-profile play, he will go there well-equipped, Alex. He's treating this match and this table with a lot of respect and some might say or might think that a higher rhythm would give him more fluency, yes. But he absolutely wants to avoid any one unforced error. And Fiance's concentration is a real asset. It needs to be when you're an accomplished straight pool player, which he is, a multiple European champion at that discipline. And here, he's just taken a 6-4 lead. Carl Boy is beginning to feel a little concerned, and with every justification. Fiance two racks away from victory. So this must be a, a pleasing turn of events for you, Alex. Your friend going nicely. <laughs> Thank you for stipulating it, Phil. Well, as a commentator, I'm sitting here okay, as a fan and I'd like to see the drink. best you match possible. And I must conclude at this point, Niels Feyen is playing the best pool. But Boyes can be also dangerous and explosive once he catches a gear if he's allowed another visit at the table though well I think in terms of commentary you can declare an interest in who you want to win and still remain impartial and there's no doubt about it right now Fine is looking the more likely winner definitely Now this is something to mention that he played a stop shot, he, <laughs> he tried to play a stop shot, but soft, so a lot of backspin to play the softest stop shot possible, thereby opening up the pocket because he did not hit it clean, but because of the speed the pocket accepted. A little tension in his arm. He's getting anxious. And that's okay. It's okay to be... To, to feel the heat of the moment. Just accept it and not make it go from bad to worse. Extension cold. electing to use his time extension and I think that's a wise move there's Chris Melling and also Darren Appleton two Yorkshiremen on home soil looking on with considerable interest and I spotted Economopoulos as well could be a Yorkshireman nice shot by Niels so he's back in position. Com composure more than anything at this moment. The key ingredient for Niels Fein. 
not fluid, not fancy. Just trying to control his mindset and control the cue ball. As a slight angle, my guess is he will punch towards the long rail and then spin with side towards the nine. He's not the terminator, he's the silencer. Well, he's silencing the crowd here in Barnsley, a famous mining town. And here, Carl Boys now has to dig deep. Dutch Dynamite, Niels Fyen, 7-4 up on Carl Boys in this first round match in the Party Poker Whirlpool Masters in Barnsley, England. Now these matches are the race to eight racks, and that means Fyen is breaking off, trying to apply the finishing touch to victory. Clearly visible how he positions the cue under his right eye. It's not so that his right eye is dominant, it's his only functioning eye. He doesn't have any sight with his left eye. Now they say you learn something new every day, I didn't know that. Whenever I've been commentating on him, I've always mentioned the fact that he's got that dominant right eye, rather like John Virgo in snooker. I didn't realise the reason he did it to such an extent, I do now. The two ball is not touching the rail. But it's not so far shot off that the, the he that he could not play a real first shot. A very aggressive shot that would be. And therefore I think this is a wise decision. He's up 7-4. There's no need to go out all offense. Good crowd here, they love their sport in Barnsley. They have a football league team here. I suppose the most famous members of the population, maybe Michael Parkinson, the well-known talk show host. Internationally, it might well be Dickie Bird, the former cricket umpire. Well, very nice shot by Carl Boyes. The object ball being so close to the short rail, especially when playing on the TV table, it's very difficult to judge the deflection of the cue ball. Now Niels will look to pocket the two ball, but even if he misses, it's not totally unlikely to resave Carl Boyes. If the two ball has enough speed to come back to the left side of the table where all the balls are he might resave him the Alex Lowley crystal ball is alive and well and working efficiently He can clip the two ball. Considered for a moment a kick shot from... The oh, he's playing a kick. But I don't see any future there. Rather play a more conservative shot. But the risk then, if he does not manage to produce a snooker, that it will be an easy resave for Niels. Nicely done by Boyes. Well, fine, looking to see whether there's a gap between the 7 and the 8. If there is, it is the definition of borderline. Must say he does not look totally fit, boy is. Looks like having a slight cold. 
and he's caught by the camera murmuring a little in his chair but don't let it fool you Carl Boyes knows he has a chance 7-4 down you can win it in two blocks win the rack have a good break and get yourself within shooting range of your opponent The last 12 months have been a little quiet for him, boys, but he has won the, the Bigfoot Classic over in the USA, and he's also won on the GB9 ball tour. And as he showed in Doha, in Qatar, when he's there, he's in it to win it. Niels in here making an intentional fall. Not even trying to hit the two ball, not even trying to tie two other balls up. In hindsight, it could have been fruitful to remove the eight. Had he pocketed the eight ball, for example, now he would have had a better route to get to the two, or at least more options. But he did well, Feyen, with the intentional fall, because this shot is better than the previous shot that he had. He can play this conservatively. Two rails, clip it. Don't try to be too aggressive. Alex, is that an acceptable outcome? This is what he played for. He just played to get a little more air on the next shot. Just make your opponent play one more shot. If he doesn't see enough of the two to pocket, you could play the same thing, a ticky, rail first, very soft. Nice shot. Conservative. But he's forcing Boyes to keep coming with solutions. Yes, and of course Boyes is also in the situation where he knows that his next mistake could well be his final mistake and that cranks up the pressure as well at least Fyne's got a little leeway although he won't be thinking in that regard two bank shots to choose between one is to the side pocket and that, that is all in that is what Boyce is looking at. He could opt to try and bank towards the corner pocket and he could play it as a two-way shot. He's going all in. Does the comeback begin here? The crowd imploring, come on Boise. It's not just winning this rack but the fact that if he does win it, he gets to break off. Well, he will gain confidence from winning the wreck instead of Niels losing it. Niels showed patience, forced Carl Boys to come out with the shot, which he did, which he made, which he will use. Leading 7-4, there was no complacency whatsoever from Niels Fine. And the reason being, he knows what a fighter Carl Boys can be. There's a lot of pool left to be played in this match. Boys still in it, very much so, even though Fine leads 7-5.
This was billed as one of the best matches in the first round, and it's living up to expectations. Niels Fyans seven five up on Carl Boys, but Boys breaking off, looking to continue his recovery. Beautiful break by Carl Boyes. He had to dig deep to win that previous rack. Playing a save and Niels playing conservative resaves. In the end he had to bank the two ball. So now it led to an open table. If he can make it 7-6 here the pressure starts to mount back upon Niels Feyen. And he realizes it Carl Boyes. Alex, when you won this title, what was it, 14 years ago now, did you have any great comebacks during the course of that run? Uh, every single match, Phil. Extension call. Every match I was 6-3 down. The semi-final I won 9-6 and against Efren in the final it was 9-7. But really, when I look back, uh, I didn't play this level of pool you know i showed heart i showed character but i didn't i was not as skillful as as boys as Niels fine as the favorites to win this tournament this year it's a long time ago it was in the beginning of my career Well, that's a very modest assessment, I must say. Well, th th that's how it is. I just started to play pool and uh, was the first time I qualified for the Masters. But the only thing I did do well was dig in and really believe in winning it. No matter what. Doesn't want to be too straight on the green six ball. He isn't. The angle is there. I actually enjoy the pace of this match, Phil. They're not fluent. They're really taking a lot of care. They show us how much heat there is out there. Now this is missable. But boys, manning up. Only 7-6 now. The deficits don't write him off. You rack 14. Cowboys to break. Training six racks to seven. So is it going to go hill-hill? I.e. 7-7. Seven, seven. Beautiful break off. And did that three ball run far enough? It is a shot, although he cannot reach it, he will need to play it with the rest. I do think he has a natural path in between the five and nine if he can manage to pocket the three ball played without side he will get back to center table he's putting an extension on his cue allowing himself thus to play it with a conventional stroke this is a very big shot in the match Call. After the break, the players have a have a doubled period of time to make their shot selection.
Well, his stroke, the delivery of the cue, never looked like being what he needed for the shot. Maybe he didn't, did not have enough length, even with the extension. But luckily, he hit the nine and snookered the cue ball. Yes, the nine was tracking towards the pocket at one point. I thought it might just find its way there, but caught much too much of the jaw to drop. Extension code. Niels Fein is getting his jump cue. So what would the shot be? Hitting the three ball on the left side. Sending the three towards the nine and or the cue ball over two rails towards the nine. Added to that the six and seven in that corner. Big chance of getting lucky. Lucky he did get. Not in the corner where the nine is, but the side pocket giving boys a lot of trouble now. He cannot cut the three ball. You don't have an extension. One per rack. Can he attack and not scratch? Shot, well, it might have seemed obvious. He thought he could keep the cue ball out. As it was, it fell in. And now the world has fallen in as far as Carl Boys is concerned in this World Pool Masters. Because Fyant should be in to win. He did pocket the three ball thin. Maybe, but that is for him for him to research. With a thicker hit, the cue ball would not have, not have scratched. Taking care, because the six nine is definitely missable. If he doesn't leave himself straight in on the six. Well, Alex Pagulayan completed his victory over Guy Young Kim with a combination. That was a 2-9 combination. How about the 6-9? Come on! On the nose, in goes the 9. Nils Fyan goes into the last 8. He beats Carl Boys by 8 racks to 6. And there was a quality quartet of Englishmen involved in this tournament, but now one of them is eliminated. Nils Fine, though, goes through. Here in Barnsley, it's very much a case of Dutch delight. Yeah, I was nip and tuck all the way. I, f I feel uh, Carl got a couple of rolls in that match, but he also uh, he was breaking really well, especially near the end. So I got, I got a little worried there from 7-4. I was breaking well the whole match. I sort of had the break figured out, but uh, I just couldn't get a shot early on in the match. But obviously near the end, I was getting the shot. But you know, it's, that's just the nine ball pool really it's just that's just the way it is i think i'm playing pretty good i was kicking well playing safe so my all-round game was was fine i just need to uh, get the breakdown and then uh get some more chances after the break so you can dominate the set a little bit more so fire joins chris melling and alex pagulayan in the quarterfinals the dutch cumin will now face the winner of match four between two greats of the game yet to secure this masters title finland's mika imminen takes on filipino efren reyes next time here at the Party Poker World Pool Masters.